Ignatius of Antioch, was he a true disciple of John? This brief presentation is taken from the seven short letters of Ignatius that are believed to be authentic by some, completely discredited by others. Ignatius was believed to be a successor of the Apostle John. He is believed to be by some one of the earliest and great leaders of the church. The story goes that he was an old man and a martyr in Rome. Not everyone agrees with this story. Some question whether any of this really happened. For some reason, many apologists want you to believe that this man was a disciple of the Apostle John. Did Ignatius teach what the Apostle John taught, as seen in the New Testament? We don't think so. Over 20 times, Ignatius wrote to submit to the bishop. We should look upon the bishop even as we would upon the Lord himself, page 51 of the Antinicene Fathers. Ignatius wrote that the multitude must follow the bishop of the Catholic Church. Wherever the bishop shall appear, there let the multitude also be, even as wherever Jesus Christ is, there is a Catholic Church, page 90 of the Antinicene Fathers. Nothing is lawful without the bishop. It is not lawful without the bishop either to baptize or to celebrate a love feast, page 90. The Eucharist is the flesh of Jesus Christ. They abstain from the Eucharist and from prayer because they confess not the Eucharist to be the flesh of our Savior Jesus Christ, page 89. Ignatius changed the order of the church meetings. Take ye heed, then, to have but one Eucharist, and one cup to show forth the unity of his blood, one altar, as there is one bishop, page 81 of the Antinicene Fathers. He condemned anyone who was not submitted to the bishop. He who does anything without the knowledge of the bishop does in reality serve the devil, page 90. Some consider Ignatius to be poetic, while others believe he had a suicidal spirit. May I enjoy the wild beasts that are prepared for me, and I pray they may be found eager to rush upon me, which also I will entice to devour me speedily. Page 75 You have been given a small glimpse into Ignatius' mind if he indeed wrote any of this. His ideas do not match up with the early church of the first century, nor does it compare to the Apostle John. His teachings reflect another church, really another religion. This is the beginning of the Catholic Church. It began slowly and was granted total power at the Council of Nicaea 325. Mm -hmm.